ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to see so many of you here today and to all of those at uh, Penny Farm, uh, thank you for putting up with another visit when you've just done your open day, which I gather was a great success, uh, not least of all because it was a really nice day, which <laughs> is much more important that that should have been a really nice day. But this does give us the opportunity to celebrate what has been achieved here and the changes that have happened that make Penny Farm such an important part of World Horse Welfare's family, both in terms of raising the profile of what the charity does uh, and keeping people informed uh, about horses' welfare and their better care and the understanding of how they are still very much the working animal in many parts of the world. And for World Horse Welfare, that extended programme of education uh, in farriery and saddlery and nutrition are so important to those who still rely on them uh, for their livelihoods. And I'm sure that that was made very obvious, particularly with the programme in, in projects in Haiti, is to make such a difference to those who really do depend on their horses and donkeys for their livelihoods. Just a, it's, it's sometimes, you know, you say that to people, and people still have, you know, work with horses, and they don't quite understand why that can be true. And in so many places, that still is very true. And the understanding that we get from making sure that they're properly trained in terms of the equipment and of their care also reminds us that there are people here who may have lost some of that knowledge, and we need to be ready to support those who don't manage here in the UK. Penny Farm has been very much at the forefront of that over the years and it's been particularly good at attracting people who wouldn't otherwise probably uh, have any connections to the horse or to its related issues. And the open day is important but this visitor centre has always been important but now it play, can play an even bigger role and I use that word advisedly because it is obviously much bigger but it allows the, both the individuals who come here on a regular basis to enjoy it more, but to have more space to help the understanding, fundraising, uh, education, trainings and seminars, which are all part of extending the knowledge that is gained through the staff who work here at Penny Farm. And their ability to change um, the life of those animals who come here in a really poor state from being not just maybe unlikely to survive to living a life which has real value not just to themselves but to those who have them either as um, as rehomed or as an interest here at the farm this place i think uh, this visitor center will add a huge amount to what penny farm can achieve but it is all works around uh, the animals that are here, the reasons they're here, the stories that they have to tell. They start as really hard stories, but the nice thing about it is that they have the potential to have really good endings. And for that, we depend on uh, people like you who have supported Penny Farm, World Horse Welfare, not just here in the UK, but also overseas in Haiti, where we continue to learn the lessons of what we can do to improve the lives of Ecuador, wherever they are in the world by doing what we do, the basics, really well to really understand what it means, what welfare means to them and what welfare means here. So pleasure as always to come back here uh, and to enjoy these new premises and I hope many more people will do exactly that. But to all of those of you who support World Horse Welfare and those who work here at Penny Farm, a very big thank you for what you achieve on behalf of uh, those animals who come here. Thank you.